Okay, you may or may not have noticed that this game got an update this morning for the Windows Game Pass PC version. I believe the console version also got an update. This video is about the PC version. Again, not Steam, I'm talking the Windows Game Pass version. Now, uh, in, there didn't seem to be at the time of filming any patch notes released here. So I, along with many other people, are curious what this changed. Also, if you didn't find the download, automatically from your Game Pass app. It didn't work for me either. I actually had to go to the Windows Store, and then in the Windows Store, I searched for the Ascent, and when I went to the Ascent page, the download automatically triggered. So try that out if you're not seeing the download happening when you open your Game Pass app. Okay, so there's a few things I wanted to check. First of all, for me, the biggest thing I'd like to see is ray tracing and DLSS functioning, and we are absolutely going to test that. I've already checked if the switching between DX12 and DX11 has been fixed. Since that requires a restart, I did that before filming the video. It did not seem to change anything. Um, it grays out ray tracing, although it did that before as well, and the um, MSI Afterburner up here still reported D3D12, not 11. So I believe it's still not actually switching to DX11. Also, so now what I want to test is, is ray tracing fixed? However, I do want to mention the one thing I am sure that has been added is that in the, sorry, where is it? Gameplay settings, there is now a difficulty slider. This existed on the Steam version, but not on the Game Pass versions. So you now have easy, normal, hard difficulty slider. One thing I'm not sure whether this was here before or not was the ability to adjust font size. That might have already been there, but I didn't notice it before. It might have just been I didn't notice it. Um, that's just for subtitles, so anyway. Um, that may or may not be new. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's actually hop in and check. I'm interested, do I still get frame drops during explosions? Do uh, I have ray tracing now? And do I have DLSS? Well, hopping in, you can now uh, see my performance here. Up here is the current frame rate. This is the frame time. This is the average frame rate, which I can reset by uh, resetting that anytime I want. And this is the 1% lows. I'm very interested in these 1% lows during the fight scene I'm about to hit right here. Now, first of all, let's check if ray tracing is working. I'm gonna switch it on. And I don't really see a difference in frame rate. How about you? I also don't see any difference in visual quality. And by the way, I did actually check this after a restart and it also does nothing after a restart. So just verifying that for you, the, uh, d um, the ray tracing setting still appears to be completely broken in the Game Pass version of the game. Notice there is still no DLSS setting. So if you're like me and that was the main thing you wanted to see fixed here, that does not appear to be the case. Let's jump into the upcoming fight scene here with Papa Feral. Apologies for my clicky keyboard you might hear in the background. And I'm interested, watch the 1% lows here. Uh, still getting some fairly deep 1% lows. Also apologize if you hear kids music in the background. My daughter's homesick with me today and watching cartoons <laughs> nearby. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So in this fight, the Papa Feral will launch some uh, rockets at me and let's watch those 1% lows. I'm resetting the 1% lows right now. Watch as they hit. Okay, I'm still seeing 1% lows down to 13 frames per second. This is by no means unplayable. By the way, if you're curious, I have an RTX 2070 and an i5-9600K. The game's on an NVMe SSD. And I have, uh, did I say 16 gigabytes of RAM? Well, I have it. Anyway, so you can see I keep resetting it, but the 1% lows keep dropping into the mid-teens every time we see this happen. So I'm interested if there were some other bug fixes applied, but so far, the main difference that I've noticed is just getting a difficulty slider. I'm still getting these awful frame rates in combat when there's explosions, um, and I'm still not getting any ray tracing or DLSS. You could let me know if uh, in the comment section if you find anything else, and I will post a comment or a link in my description if the developers issue an official patch note. All right, everybody, I hope that you have an excellent day. You might want to consider uh, looking at my... Whoa, my game actually just froze. Well, that seems like a good note to end on. Apparently, the game froze, and I hadn't had crashing issues before that. So there you go. Let's, let's just end there. I do have an optimized settings video if you're interested in that one.